Hey sisters, I am sitting in a parking lot right now. I just returned an Amazon purchase to Kohl's. What a great new thing that you can just take your Amazon return to Kohl's and they package it up for you. How easy uh, and what a good deal for Kohl's, although I didn't buy anything today. Um, did you know that you get a 25% off coupon though if you bring it? So for those of you who are Amazon shoppers and I have a Kohl's near you, tip of the day, if you return an Amazon purchase and drop it off at Kohl's, not only do you not have to package it up or print a label, but you get a 25% off coupon that's good for a week. So anyway, so I am, I don't even know why I'm making this video. I, I don't really know what I'm going to say. But I'm going to tell you, and actually, I'm not driving, so I don't need my seatbelt on. I'm going to tell you why I'm, I'm making this video. I'm really afraid I'm going to cry. I can't believe this. Okay. I'm not going to cry. Um, a wig sister, and now I'm forgetting her name. I would give her a shout out. I didn't plan this. I'm sorry uh, that I can't remember her name right now, but she posted a video today. I know she lives in North Dakota. <laughs> I noticed that on her Facebook profile and I, I looked it up to see if I could see where she lived because her accent is pretty similar to mine in here in Minnesota. So I wanted to see if she was in maybe Northern Minnesota because it seemed a little thicker than mine. But anyway, um, she posted a quick video today because she had on a wig that she felt really pretty in and a customer came into her store or um, coffee shop and told her she was beautiful and she was so moved by that that she talked about it in a short video that she posted in our Facebook group and it touched me so much because I can relate to that so much. Um, I don't even know. What, I truly didn't plan even to talk about this. I don't know what's going on. But anyway. Um, and I know a lot of you can too. Um, whether it's because of your hair loss. Or other things in your life that have caused you to be really hard on yourself. Or not see your value. Oh, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded often that we have no idea the stories of the people that we run across in our life. No idea. Um, we make a lot of judgments and that's human. That's normal. I'm not going to get on here and say that we shouldn't judge people because that's an impossible standard. We were made to judge. I mean, I believe that. God built us in his image and God judges. So it's hard for us not to judge. Um, but knowing that of ourselves, I think that we have some control over how we react to those judgments. And I think a lot of us are very hard on ourselves and we judge ourselves so much more harshly in, in a lot of cases than we deserve, but certainly than the wet rest of the world. Um, and I see so many women devaluing themselves for really superficial things. And I can say that because I am one of those women. I remember being a teenager and wanting to be liked so much. I made some really, really terrible decisions and choices in an effort to be liked and to feel liked. I don't even know why. Um, I look back and I just am so sad for that girl who couldn't see I should stop this video. Who couldn't see how awesome she is. And I, I pray that my daughter 
I, I'm going to pause. Okay, sorry about that. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to end up posting this if I can't get it together. Because this is not... I'm, I didn't get on here to do this. Uh, I pray that my daughter doesn't ever feel the way that I felt. And I'm not blaming anyone. I had parents who love me. And I had friends. And I, I don't have an explanation. But I wonder how often... We do have explanations for why we're so hard on ourselves. What is it about this world or what messages we receive as, as girls that create such insecurities? Um, but when I saw her video, and it was so raw and so vulnerable and such a testimony that... I, I was cr I was crying in my office. I wasn't crying like I just started crying, you know. But I was definitely, there were tears running because I could feel her in my soul. Because I've been there. And I know a lot of you have been there. And, you know, one thing I've noticed since I started making videos, I get a lot of compliments. And I get a lot of support. And... My first reaction is to dismiss that or minimize that or think in my head, oh, they don't know what they're talking about or they don't know me um, or they're just being nice. Why can't we ever just accept that we are beautiful and we're made in God's image, every one of us, and we all have a special purpose? Why do we have to question our our worth and our value and put everything in, in terms of comparison to others. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to get into some big philosophical rant or um, try to solve the world's problems in this way. But I just wanted to get on here because I know that some of you watching my videos, some of you watching other people's videos are really, really hurting um, for a lot of reasons. Um, hair loss is maybe one of them, but it's probably not the only one. And I want you to know that you are beautiful. Whether you believe in God or not, and whether you're a Christ follower or not, God made every person in their image. And that happened regardless of whether you believe it. And you don't deserve to feel less than because you think others are better. You, please don't ever, ever look at my videos or anyone else's videos and wish that you were like that or judge yourself in, uh, against those because that, my friend, is not healthy for you, but it's, it's not enough information. You are so valued and worthy. There are people who love you in your life who would be devastated if you weren't in their life. There are people who think you are absolutely beautiful and wonderful. And I just wanted to get on here and remind everybody of this because this post really, really touched me and really made me remember how vulnerable we are as women and how much we need each other to lift each other up and to remind each other of our value um, that's why these groups are so awesome. I rarely see negativity in them. I really do. And that's so rare in this world. Yes, it happens sometimes, but my goodness, we're all human. Um, but the love and support that we give each other is something that we don't, many of us don't get in a lot of places. So I just want to thank you for watching my videos and for coming to my channel and for giving me feedback and for making comments. But I want you to know that I, I do pray and I pray for my wig sisters, for their, for their hearts, for um, peace, um, that they feel the love and support that others are putting out there towards them. And so I just want you to know that you are loved and appreciated and um, beautiful. You really are. 
every one of you. So anyway, that's all I got on here to say. I'm sorry I cried. Um, this can be such an emotional journey. Uh, but I'm glad to have my wig sisters to go on it with me. I really am. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.